When you're talking motorsports, a few names always jump to mind. Fangio, Senna, Schumacher, Rossi, and of course, Sebastian Loeb. And for us, it is a great honor to have, in my opinion, the greatest driver of all time, not only on our, on our show on Ignition GT, but in South Africa. Sebastian, welcome. Pleasure to be here. It, it's your first time yeah. in South Africa. Exactly. I know you haven't been here. You've got to the track, two quick laps. What's your impression of Cape Town and more importantly, the track? Yeah, uh, I have a very nice impression from uh, Cape Town. Uh, for sure, I didn't discover a lot of things. I just arrived yesterday, but, uh, but uh, the town is, is nice. And what we feel uh, immediately is that the people here are happy to see, to see us coming here for the, for the race. It seems that the people enjoy the motorsport here and uh, the track is, is great, uh, very interesting. I think they made a, a good job to prepare the track. The weather is good, so everything is, is nice to, to have a good weekend. You've, you've got it right, Sebastian. South Africans are petrol heads. We've had a, a lot of very successful motor racing drivers, rally in particular as well. And it's been a long time since we've had international races coming to the country. For me, what is critical is most racing drivers find their way into a car through go-karts, through karting. But for you, you were late to the game. I think 23 was when you started racing in rally. Yeah. At what point did you know that you were a good driver? First, when I was riding my mopeds, yeah. uh, I was always faster and better. I had a better feeling than my friends and uh, I had fun. I always enjoyed the speed uh, with anything I, I could drive. And uh, when I had my first car, when I was 18, uh, what Mid was it? Uh, Renault 5 uh, GT Turbo. Uh, a good car. <laughs> yeah, it was a good car for a young driver like this. And I, again, I had fun driving and I saw that my, my friends who, who also had the, the new cars didn't have uh, really the same feeling that I had. So it was my passion driving uh, and, and I didn't have any money to start. So I entered a um, kind of uh, selection, which is a rally jeune in France for young drivers and uh, you pay nearly nothing and you do some selection and then you can gain um, a season in, uh, in rally and uh, that was my, my plan and uh, at the end it was close to win it, it was a bit uh, confusing but, uh, but uh, some people saw that two years in a row I was in front of 15,000 people entering this uh, series and, uh, and he started to help me to start the rallies and so I started like you said, uh, really late. It's, it's actually very exciting though, because I mean, yes, it's nine times in a row, champion rally. I mean, we could have lost you to motorsport because for so many people, it is expensive to get in. At 23, they think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna worry with that. But you really are exciting news for people that wanna get into, into motorsport. What advice can you give to somebody that is interested in motorsports? I mean, do they go and play a lot of PlayStation and, and drive on the simulators? Does that work? Yeah, it can work. Uh, it worked for Lamar. Yeah, to learn, learn the, 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 the tracks, track. but uh, in, in rally, you cannot learn the, the rallies. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, for sure, I was passionate. So I was playing uh, on uh, Colin McRae game yeah. before and was, I had fun on it. So, but uh, then, what advice is difficult, like, like you said, normally you need some money, it's always complicated. In France, the, this formula exists and uh, you can, you can uh, start like, like this because I had no money, I had no one in my family who was involved in motorsport or anything. And uh, so it seems it's possible, but you, you need for sure to have this, this help, this uh, federation that makes something for, to, to help young drivers. Uh, because uh, other way it's complicated. I know everyone always would look at you and say you were the tarmac expert when it came to rally, but it must be difficult for you to choose. All the success was rally based, but you've also been very, very good as a circuit racer, um, from touring cars to Le Mans finishing second. There was talk about Formula One. You've got to drive a Formula One car. What is the best form of racing for you now? At the end, I think what I prefer for the sensation 
it's a rally uh, because uh, the sensation you get when you are flat out in in the middle of nowhere on a normal road or normal uh, gravel road uh, is just uh, amazing. You have to improvise in your driving style. You you have to anticipate. Uh, it's very different from racing where you. You do everything by heart and you repeat everything all the time. So Same corner, yeah. left off the left. Well, for me, I have more fun in, in rallying. Rally cross is also something I enjoy yeah. because it's a bit a mix between rally, because the cars are a bit like rally cars, four wheel drive, more power, 600 horsepower. It's, it's crazy, the acceleration. Yeah, the cars, the cars are amazing to drive and with that you have a very intense fight. You have still to improvise in driving because it's sliding around, you have gravel, tarmac, jumps, and uh, so... And you're not on the track on your own. Like in a rally stage, it's you on that stage. Now you've got five other cars to so worry about. it's a lot of adrenaline on the start yeah. on these this events, and uh, it's really exciting. Uh, every time you are on, on, on the start grid, you are on the heart attention, you know, and yeah. uh, that's something I didn't have so much in some in those other settings. How do you how do you keep yourself motivated to, to keep wanting to achieve? Because I mean, the records that you've broken are I mean we're talking big names. Walter Rawl. I mean those are people that you would have grown up knowing, idolizing, and, and now these records all sit in, in your name. How do you keep yourself motivated to to keep winning? Is yeah, it just I, I don't I don't need to, to do something uh, special to be motivated. Uh, I never drove for records or for, for that, I just drive because I, I have the opportunity to drive and it's my passion and even today it's still my passion and I have always fun when I sit in a, in a racing car or a rally car or a rally cross car and uh, I, it's my pleasure, it's my passion and um, i really lucky to be able to live from my passion so uh, today uh, just, I just enjoy what I do. If we, if we go back to, like in South Africa, we've got a, a real motor racing legend, Saurav van Amavri, who was, was very good in rally. It's incredible how the rally has changed over the years. I mean, I'm sure in your nine championships, you would have seen it. In the old days, maybe you were reading terrain a lot more and there was more driver interaction and feel, but now the course notes have got, have got so good. Is rally becoming more and more like circuit racing? And is that where the appeal of Dakar becomes a real one for you because again it's terrain that you've got in our reef. Yeah, um, for me I, I started to have good notes from, from the base and because I always worked hard on the pace notes to, to try to be as precise as possible to be able to drive the car and be in confidence with what I, I my code over says. So I improved this system during the years. Maybe it's getting more and more like racing but uh, especially because now it's a lot of onboards and every driver can watch the onboard from the other driver so that makes that uh, it's no secret anymore. Uh, yeah. you, you do something one year, the next year the other driver saw what you did and, and so it can... Maybe it's get, getting faster w with that but uh, for the rest still in a rally you have always to, to improvise. You, you have to be fast on the first pass and that makes a different feeling. Uh, the person before you could have changed that corner, knocking a rock into the road, so the real edge of the seat stuff. You've got an amazing co-driver though, your wife. Ah, yeah, because I, 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 I thought you speak well from no, my... Uh... No, for me, for me it finds... Do you think that's a secret to a good marriage, is putting your wife in the car and she tells you what to do? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but it's just for fun that we yeah, do some rallies sometimes, but uh, she, she enjoys rally and uh, so it's sometimes nice to have, uh, to have funny in, in family. Yeah. Uh, uh, the rest, uh, usually when I was doing rally, it was my job, uh, mm. for sure I enjoy, and, but uh, it's like a professional and when I do some rallies for fun, I can do it with my wife and just enjoy. And you listen to what she tells you to do? I have to. You have, of course, she's, she's the boss at that time. <laughs> would, would you want your son or daughter to get into motor racing? I want uh, my daughter and my son to be to be happy in his life. Uh, yeah. That's her thing. And uh, if she wants, she, she has interest in motor racing. Why not? At the moment, she's more passionate by gymnastics and yeah. uh, doing. The well, gymnastics. that's where you started too. Exactly. Yeah. But she she enjoys it and she she enjoys also to come to to watch my races. Mm -hmm. uh, so. I don't push her at the moment to, to go in, to sit in a car. Well, Sebastian, just uh, from our side, a real pleasure to have you on the show and fantastic to have you in South Africa. And we hope that this is going to be a great, uh, a great weekend for you as well. Thank and you. wish you all the best for, for 2018. Thank you. What Sebastian didn't tell you though, if you do want to get into motor racing or have a, have a future in motor racing, change your name. Because I think Sebastian is probably the most successful name in motorsport. What a pleasure having him on the show.